And introducing our Ripley on stage, Miss Punya on Penwood. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting about the red corner, 20 years of age. She's first when it earned 69 in missile and winning when it earned 18 pounds. She for record of 43 wins and six losses. She is IPCC Muay Thai and Muay Thai Junior Cup gold medalist and IFBA World Muay Thai Championship silver medalist and RWS 2022 Flyweight World Champion representing Chiang Mai Province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Song Resume Manap Muay Thai Jam! And fighting on the blue corner, 23 years of age. Just first, when it and 70 centimeters tall, and ready, when it and 18 pounds. She, for record of 34 wins, 11 losses, and 10 draw. She is former Ram Ning Roy Stadium Champion, and former MPF Fighter Champion, and former Super Fight Tournament Champion, representing Bangkok, Thailand. Let's hear it for Ngao Brajan. No, sir! Go! Two very proud females. Five rounds, two minutes, three million baht. All the numbers that you need to know. But here's some more. Now for Jan, currently four and one here at RWS. So Ratsami, in tournament competition, is 9-0. But in the history of RWS, the promotion, she is 10-0. Five rounds of Muay Thai action. The big question when Malpijan returned to the ring was how was she going to be able to cope with the, the pace here at RWS over three rounds? Well, her first fight, she fought against an Italian girl called Raquel Malatesta at 130 pounds. And she, <laughs> she struggled. So she made weight, but she struggled. So when we heard that she was going to compete at the 18 tournament, we were questioning whether she could actually make it or not. Not only has she done that, but she is through to the final. Oh. Good hand there, good right hand. Those exchanges from both fighters. Great Muay Thai action. Again, the, the big question was always, is Napajan gas tank big enough to last five rounds? Well, we're about to find out, but Somrasami right away very aggressive and doing exactly what she should be doing if she wants to beat Napajan. Oh, good right hand, right kick here from Napajan. Yeah, like Antoine said, she struggled, I believe, in the what, first two fights in the group stages. She was getting tired very early. And all of a sudden, as she's training more, as she's getting more confidence, she was getting better and better, and in the final four against Zephyr, she was very, very oh, aggressive. Oh, 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 oh. Good left hand there from Saul Ratsami, and again, and again, two or three left hands there by the Queen of Rajadam Nurn. Great to see a female ref, I'm glad you said that, Antoine. Again, making history here at RWS with the first female ref. What yeah. a proud moment it must be for her and her family as well. And I have to say that Napachan will be realizing the fact that this is a female referee in her advantage. I know people might be confused how, but this is here. You can see in those few moments in the clinch work, Napachan, the more experienced out of the two, will look to waste time. Great first round of Muay Thai. She's got to say as well, Song Ratsby going back. She feels like she's good enough to take the round. Now for Jan, no one to see it, but she already looks at the <laughs> down to the 35 pounders. Interesting to see. Him versus Lamna Mule. Just putting that out there. I'm not saying that will ever happen, of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Round number two. All right, here we go. What is Malpatan going to do in this difficult second round? So it's a right high kick there by Malpatan. Looking for that right hand. But Sam Lexi is so good at avoiding strikes. He's very slick. Good news here. Good work there. Release the knees. Good defending there by Saul Ratsami. He delivers a good right knee as well to the midsection. 
Yeah, and again, I don't know if this is the right game plan. On the longer run, those clinching moments are exhausting. Is this the right game plan for Nabajan? I don't know, but Somasami moving forward right away. Somasami is so good. Even when you think oh. she's down, she'll throw a 1-2 combination out of nowhere. She's very, very fast. And here you can see the referee struggling to separate both fighters. Right away, Nabajan looking confident in the center of the room. Would oh. like to return, but the timing of Somasami Deep breath already from Nalpatan. Timing beats speed. Accuracy beats power. Oh, Nalpatan. <laughs> again with those knees. Oh, and again. You see, Nalpatan is doing <laughs> their absolute utmost to her best to try and stay with Sam Ratsami and deliver good knees. But I think you're right. I think it could be empty in a gas tank. She's doing that as well. Yeah, that was the pace of Sam Ratsami right away. And perhaps the pressure you're fighting for a title. You're making history here in Russian Men's Stadium. Three million bots on the line. All right, final 20 seconds on the clock now in round at number two. So that's me. Confident as ever. Oh, good right kick from yeah. Nabhatan. Even acknowledged there by Son Ratsumi. <laughs> Son Ratsumi, she knows that she can keep tying up Nabhatan. Not only is she going to score, but she's going to deplete the energy resources with inside now the jack. Another good solid round in my opinion for now. Sorry, for this one, Ratsumi Manok Jim. Yeah, now Patan looking very tired at the end of the second round. As well as some Ratsumi, I have to say. I believe he was in uh, Singapore yeah, earlier was. today as well. He was, yeah, he just got back from Singapore. Right in time for the RWS Grand Final third round what a great weekend he's had all right <laughs> here we go round number three of this year's final turning point is this round if Nalpachan doesn't win it she'll need a knockdown in the next one to have a chance to win she's going to have to fight the round of her life right now once again Sol oh. Ratsley knows exactly what she's doing tying her up oh. delivering some good knees Beautiful action from Tomasami. Again, the experience, and this is why she was last year's champion. This is why she was oh. the favorite all the beautiful right hand from Naupachan. And again, two right hands, three right hands there. Coming in from Naupachan. Much better here by the fighter from Luxai Gong Din. A good start to the round for her. She needs that good start. She needs to finish strong as well. That's me. Beautiful job. Pajan looking for that right hand. A Once much again. better round from now, Pajan. And again with that right hand. Oh, oh. she gets quickly two left hands in the row. Oh. Beautiful right hand there from now, Pajan. Not giving up just yet. Not at all. There's uh, no fighter scenes behind me over there. <laughs> now, Pajan holding the experience there. Deep breath here by oh. now, Pajan. Oh, this is oh, underneath. Yeah, beautiful clinch there from Sol Ratsumi. Delivers a nice left kick to the body. But here again come those left and right hands from Nalpachan. Very aggressive this round. Much better round from Nalpachan. Perhaps not as easy as expected from Sol Ratsumi. Nalpachan slowly waking up even though here yeah, taking a few moments in a clinch. She also been noted as well. Nalpachan, we spoke about Ada in Zygenia. He's also got Wang Dao Noi, another fighter, and her brother Sangha oh. training in America with Floyd Mayweather as well. Yeah, absolutely. Very talented family. And you were telling me as well her older brother was a former boxing champion. Yeah, absolutely. Six, Sixteen brother and sisters of Muay Thai. And it has been 16 years since one of one member of the family has won a title here in Russian Men's Stadium. So a big night and a big round from Nao Patan. Much better round than the previous two, but how are the judges gonna score it? And Somrasami looking a little bit tired. Well, if Somrasami is looking a little bit tired, I don't know what you call now, but yeah, you're right. <laughs> Deep breaths there from Somrasami. She took a lot of punishment. Yeah, absolutely. There you can see in the corner of Somrasami with the glasses. That is Manop, former trainer of a man you might have heard of by the name of Senchai. Absolutely amazing trainer. All right, here we go. Round number four, Nalpajan. You have to find something from somewhere. Here we go. Oh, right hand straight away there from Nalpajan. 
releasing those weapons that she has. <laughs> Pushing back from the face of Sean Ratsabi and throwing the left and right hand there. Vicky uncomfortable for last year's champion. Oh. Another attempted right hand there from Naukajan. Yeah, again, it's getting better at blocking the knees. Yeah, absolutely. The much better work right now from Somrasan, from Nopajan, my apologies. And Somrasan, he's slowing down a little bit with oh, his long legs. Yeah, and even when Nopajan does attempt to throw Somrasan, he goes here within the clinch from Nopajan. She is a fighter, no doubt about it. We are not giving up just yet, the young single mother. Of course, not just in the ring, but in life as well. Absolutely. Again, looking for that right hand. Sam Ratsmi just tying her up. Look at Nalbajan fighting. Looking for that elbow strike. Sam Ratsmi holding on that time. Yes, she is. Here comes Nalbajan once again. Oof. Of course, Ada last year in the tournament. She unfortunately lost to Sam Ratsmi in the final. It looks like, as it stands, Sam Ratsmi is going to take out another sister. Mm. Good knees here by Sam Ratsabi to finish the round. Yeah, Napajan looking out of solutions right now. Throwing body punches in the clinch. He's not giving good though. Yeah, absolutely not giving up. Another right hand attempted there by Napajan. Ooh, the left kick. Oh, good knee there from Sam Ratsabi. Sam Ratsabi on the back foot. Maybe she's good, well she's done enough after three rounds, maybe she feels she's done enough for now. Look for us, oh, look at the shot! Where's this come from? Beautiful flurry of strikes there to the midsection of Saul Ratsumi. He was looking tired at the end of round three. Yeah, not one. giving up wow. just yet. What a round from now, Patan. Seven, three has it 40 to 36. Can she do what nine other females, or should I say ten other females have tried here at RDDS and have failed to do? They can see the family, including the daughter of Nalbrijan, cheering her on. But this is a massive task right now to try and stop Son Ratsumi. Well, at the end of the fourth, that might have been an indication of how she could do it, going back to the body of Son Ratsumi. Let's see if she can find something. Nalbrijan looking for that right hand. Then going back to the body, good left, two, one, two, and a right hand there from Nalbrijan. Again, going back to the body strikes, but she needs another knee. Much better here right now, Nalbrijan. Not only in this round, but in round number four as well. Not many fighters, I'm sorry to say, female fighters have actually tried to go for the body of Saul Ratsumi. And now Majan is giving everything she's got here. Digging deep, throwing flurries of punches, one, two's coming into the body. The crowd really getting behind her. And again, going back to the body there. Utilising the boxing, her brother Sang Hatik will be proud of. Beautiful elbow though, and the by Vaisar Ratsumi. One minute left on the clock here. The corner of Nalbajan is telling her to go after her with elbows. Of course she needs the knockout. Again, being cornered. This on Ratsumi now just coming up. It's looking good for Son Ratsumi, it has to be said. It's always going to be a massive task for Nalpajan after four years off to come and defeat the Queen of RWS, the Queen of Rajalam Mill Stadium. But again, she's going back to the body with these body shots. She's giving it everything. You've got to applaud the effort here. Ten seconds left on the clock here. Nalpajan. Still moving for oh! Beautiful left high kick for Saul Ratsumi. And there is the exclamation mark. Now Prachan does everything in her power to get back to her feet. She doesn't want to get knocked out. You can see that. And there is the final bell. Saul Ratsumi will take it home. 
two years here at RWS. In her 50th bout, a 50th professional bout, she has become the 2023 RWS Bantamweight Champion, adding to last year's lightweight flyweight title. Congratulations to her and her team. Big props to Narpachan. What an effort she gave. But Son Ratsumi is just too good. And there is the mother of Son Ratsumi. Very proud, I am sure. Let's have a look. And of course, her younger sister. Let's have a look at the highlights from that fight. It was always going to be a risk as Narpachan moved forward that she was going to leave herself exposed. And that she did. And Son Ratsumi being the beautiful fighter that she is was able to find that left high kick on Nalpajan as she went down. But Nalpajan would not stay down. She managed to get back to her feet and finish the fight. So I'm asking me though, just too good. I keep saying it, I'm sorry, but she is an exceptional Muay Thai fighter. She's so slick, she's so smooth. She's able to weather storms and indeed, when you just thought that Tom Rats the rule, make fight find something, whips a left high kick out of nowhere in that fifth and final round. There it is. What a fighter she is. Who can we find to test Tom Rats to me? That is the question that RWS management have to answer. Ladies and gentlemen, right here with us on stage. Manager of the National Sports Development Fund, Dr. Suprani Kuptasa, and President of RWS Board and Board Director of President Man Stadium, Mr. Tien Chai BC Putinan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, of the five rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. The first judge score is about 50 to 44. The second judge score 49 to 45. And the last shot score 50 to 44. We have a winner by way of unanimous decision. And RWS 2023 female Bantam World Champions goes to Congratulations to RWS 2022 Flyweight World Champion and 2023 Female Bantamweight World Champion Song 